Hello and welcome back to Total Crypto for another video. And in today's video, we're going to be getting into Gala as I can see some impressive moves coming in. That's almost breaking news and newsworthy for anyone who's into Gala or looking to get into a gaming coin. Well, Gala is definitely one of those. So if you'd like to find out how far and how high can we go for Gala, guys, you need to stick around. So why don't we get into the technical analysis? Hello guys and welcome back to Touch Crypto for another Gala video. Right, so firstly, we've been consolidating here for the longest since we've broken down from this massive move to the downside. As we've been going solid for the longest, it looks like we've finally broken up. Broken up, I think we came back down to retest the zone here before. Hopefully, we should be able to make our way back up to that 26 dollars, 26 cents, and maybe even 27. And the reason why I say that is because if we zoom in slightly, what we can do first to determine a couple of things is to draw up the larger rectangle box and this was the longest consolidation so longer the uh, thing to uh, the longest sideways action for gala coin before we decide to actually poke our head up slightly higher we pull back into this area and once we do break up from here, we can see a humongous move to the upside, at least for the short term. So once we do break up from here, this will be a perfect entry if you are a intraday trader. As a breakout trader in cryptocurrency, that is one of the uh, solid strategies because you can see a massive gains coming in and with a high probability of winning a trade. And if you were to enter from this breakout from here, all the way to the top that will give you precisely or roughly around about 219 percent view to the upside that will be a humongous move for yourselves because if you decide to leverage trade this that let's say for example 2x that will give you a 438 percent move to the upside or if you decide to do leverage trading by more than 2x whether that's three four five guys be careful when you leverage trade it can get extremely volatile for yourselves because you can be stopped out even quicker the more or the higher that you leverage so if you're an experienced trader by your means have at it if you're just trying out try it with a smaller leverage before you build up your experience you can add a lot more leverage to your future trades let's get back into the video so i'll be looking to trade right here for an intraday trader because it looks like we might be yeah, it looks like we are more or less closer, closer to the upside or at least top half of this move rather than to the bottom. But if you are looking to try to gain even a bigger gains for the intraday trading, you might want to wait until, let's get rid of this now. You might want to wait until we at least pull back into this area right over here. Reason why, because we made this parabolic move to the upside, if we do see a healthy correction, back down into this zone right over here that would be a good case for an entry for a long position something or anything like this so from here to there we'll give you easily 144 percent move to the upside but like i said if we do go back up into that 20 six is it yeah around about 26 cents that will give you approximately 658 percent move to the upside however you do you do need to pay attention to what goes on to the chart in order for you to see a massive gains like that firstly you would definitely need to increase your stop loss because potentially we could come down and wick beyond this level here which means you need to give the chart you know room for movement before ultimately choosing direction in your favor hopefully so you can hold on to your trade until firstly this region here reason why because that's the last local high and if you react well and burst up beyond that then you could quite possibly hold it for a massive move of 658 percent move to the upside now that is for the intraday traders you know a good strategy for you you can actually use this one right over here but why don't we talk about if you are a hodler and what would you do if you're hodling if you're a hodler you still want to see 
any pullback in order for you to you know get even more of Gala, I would most definitely it's not financial advice of course I would most definitely went for a pullbacks it could be you know multiple smaller pullback you can add a lot more to your bags or it could be a much deeper correction so you can add a lot more to your bag what made me successful in my last uh, crypto bull market or bull season should I say whenever we dipped and I had the extra funds rather than me you know going out for food spending on clothes and whatnot I would tend to use those funds to get into the cryptocurrencies that I'm mostly interested in and that way when the bull season finally kicked in I saw a massive reward from doing so so guys it's all entirely up to you how you like to go about you know things uh, what, what you prioritize in your spending in life I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy your life but sometimes if you like to see more rewards you do need to add more to your portfolio in order for you to see a bigger gains for the future but bear in mind guys this is on a weekly chart why don't we quickly dive into the daily so on the daily it looks like we are almost forming a rounding a rounding on the bottom something like this yeah, oh, hang on. Yeah, something like this. But if we do ultimately come back down into this zone right over here, then that would be a fantastic move in order for you to let a lot more of your bags. But right now, even though we've seen this a smaller red candle and a slightly larger green candle, that could, or oh, actually, they're both the same. My apologies. Yeah this area here it is still the same size both for the red and for the green candle therefore you want to see a deeper correction around about here or you can still add up a lot more of your bags because you're holding because definitely your strategy is different to an intraday trader so you can stock up a lot more up here if you go further down add a lot more there and then finally you might want to add even more whenever we enter into this area so that's three spots so that's the first one second one and the third one why don't i just get rid of all of these lines so i can draw an actual rectangle box so you can see clearly for yourself let me get rid of that too just give me a second guys right here we go okay so for it a hodler you want to load up here because quite possibly we could bounce from here and go back up to the top which means this would be a perfect area for you to add more to your bags if we drop below here you can even add more to your bags here and then finally if you come back down into this zone so that's the three point areas and where you should be adding a lot more to your bags with the anticipation of the move to go straight back up to the top at least to that 26 cent mark however going back into the weekly charts i do see gala going much higher and in this full se uh, season i can see us going much higher than our previous all-time highs how high are we gonna go right. well why don't you just stick around for the next part of the video where i share with you my price prediction for gala all right let's pull out the fibonacci retracement tool so we measure right from the top to right down to the very bottom of the chart should be roughly around about here just going to zoom in so we can see exactly where the fibonacci has taken gala to the very top it looks like we could end up with a roughly around about three dollars and 54 or three dollars 54 gala if that was to play out that means if you are holding and you're holding from the current price let's pull out the measuring tool if you are holding from around about here for instance it doesn't have to be there precisely i'm just giving you an example if you scroll back up to that three dollar fifty four or even three dollar fifty that will give you a possible 6,544% move to the upside guys that is an impressive move to the upside that means if you've been huddling around about here for the longest and you've been accumulating as many guard as possible 
I don't know if you got a garden node or whether you've been staking, you'll be even in a bigger reward. This is what cryptocurrency is all about. Whenever we do see like a massive fall to the downside, we should always be accumulating as much as we can. Obviously, follow the fundamentals of your chosen project. You know, make sure you're on their Twitter or social media account, and also follow any breaking news that comes from Gala or your chosen crypto. As long as you accumulate as much as possible for this whole entire journey in the bear season. Now we finally start working, waking up. We can see a lot of bigger move coming in. In fact, my prediction just says that potentially, it's not guaranteed, of course. Potentially, it could be six thousand five hundred forty-four percent move to the upside, and that will give you an insane bag of cash. So I hope you have found this useful and informative. And guys, this wraps up the video. If you find my video useful and informative, then please give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and if you haven't done so already, let me point you to the direction where you should subscribe. Just right over here. And if you haven't seen my last video, click here and I'll see you all in the next one.